we ask a favor? Stay with the tour guide, of course. Don't stray far. But as we walk, perhaps keep an eye out. That's Entry very ominous. Wine Rendizo, okay. <laughs> when did this, this actually happen? Entry. The actual tour, or is this something new? <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Rendizo always getting lost. Yeah. I just turned up. Bro. Doesn't know where to go. Mm. Nice wise advice, yeah, Atlas Cleaner. Season three. Cleaner. Right. Well, I am gonna sing up well, that last name well. of okay. Oh. What have we here? <laughs> it would seem I have chanced upon a collection of travelers. This is just what I was looking for. I would like to formally invite all of you on a journey of discovery and darkness. Do you think you are worthy? Do you deem yourselves competent? Are you willing to be tested? Only time shall tell. My friends, please allow me to introduce myself. I am the archaeologist, and my destination is the great southern mineshaft. There, with the help of the professor, we will investigate whatever the miners have discovered. Some long-sealed ancient mystery. But before we depart, some notes. This is a story-based tour, and as with any real tour in the real world, I politely ask that you stay with me. In other words, please don't go ahead and make <coughs> lag too far behind during our adventure. Do not want to end up alone down there. World music should be set to an immersive level. Please don't use blue statuses, as the event will be private. And please set your avatars to something plain. With no emissive lights or flight or sounds. And not too tall, as atmosphere is very important on this journey, and the tunnels can get rather cramped. Now, you may also notice that the map is going to have an echo effect when you speak. While you are welcome to talk together as we walk from place to place, please do consider these unique acoustics of the map and kindly refrain from speaking whenever we stop for narration. You are free to explore the caves after the tour has ended. One last note. The spawn area is very small. Walk backward or forward when you spawn in and you may topple to the bottom of the mineshaft. Please be careful and endure, if you could, the uncomfortable closeness for the first few minutes. One final note. <coughs> Please do not enter the portal until I give the signal. Make sure you are friends with at least one other attendee in case you need to join back. You are welcome to add myself or Sheen as friends. If you need to, we will accept. My friends, as I said, please wait before entering the portal for my signal. Client somewhere. Disable your dark magic. <laughs> Exactly. It would seem that there is some force preventing us from dropping portals. Not to point anything out, but if you have hmm, powers that block portals, please take a moment to disable this feature. I will get Sheen to try, and if this doesn't work, we'll go to our backup method. Fear not. Ah. 
I think for a mind shaft, maybe my drill would be a bad weapon. Because I might bring the mind shaft on all of us. So if I drill the wrong spot. Actually, it might not be a terrible idea in this instance. I mean, what? Oh, yeah, she still blocked me. Probably better than an ether buster. My friends, your attention, please. As per when this usually occurs, we are going to use a invite link. This will be available on the Discord in just a moment. There are two ways you can join this tour. One is to send an invite request to one who is already there, i.e. myself. Two is to on the Discord, use the link provided <coughs> upon invite myself, or invite me once you open the link. These are the two ways you can join tonight's tour. Sheen will remain behind and make sure everyone is in before we begin. Now, my friends, I'm going to go to the instance now and then post a link on the Discord. What channels are going to be in? Probably traveling. Yeah, maybe I should get my help. And then I'll see you again. <laughs> <laughs> it will be posted in the VR Travelers channel. I look down, I'm like, hmm, where'd she go? Yeah. <laughs> God, I wish I was in this room. Wait. I gotta try to mm. Da 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 da. Okay. The other one not able to dunk. Brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
Among Us. Oh, <laughs> please, no, not Among Us. <laughs> oh, <laughs> all I can say is. Con. <laughs> I don't mind this enclosed space. It makes it easier for, me, easier for me to hug you guys. Against you, Jay, I don't like. Attrition. As per our like I cannot invite like anybody. They right must now. send an invite request to you. That is what I told them to do. I think I'm stuck I inside now. Yes, yes, you can. Yeah, I wouldn't suggest it. Sheen is in the world helping everyone still. Fear not. Uh, Did Metal Jin get here yet? Is if a new person fall, climb back up the stairs or respawn. I am here. Respawn. You okay, Luna? You, did you break any legs? She will probably help her. It's fine, it's fine. It's okay. Okay. It's okay, she drank that green <laughs> juice. So, no, she's all yeah. good. I mean, bro. And so, can Luna still see the product or not? The, uh, I am blocked her back. Experience is in the pilot, yeah, I'm not yes. gonna jump off because, I'm you know. I'm one for your avatar. So. If I can't handle the fall from a balcony, oh, I don't think I can handle avatar. a fall from this. Thank you. I really don't like you sheer drops. I love You're looking into your me. eyes. Open your eyes. I don't, I don't care. Open your eyes. Well, he's still trying to avoid adorableness. 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 Oh. I can't do facial emotes because I have them locked. <laughs> <laughs> I can do them. Wait, how do I un How do I re I think I'm having a little too much fun with this echo. Hello, I can do them. Care if I did, oh you're a centimeter away from sudden death. Somebody else, Monkey. Start running. I'm doing something to oh, no. backflip off that. Oh, no. Okay, let's go. 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 Okay, okay, look, I'm so Nobody let Pro Tag back in. Oh, there he goes. Yes. The soup is descending. Oh, God. He's descending. The soup is not. We are not a call. Have you guys ever been on yeah, that like before in the to... Halo team? That's what it sounds like in here. I'm gonna test me. I'm gonna see if I'll survive. Oh, yes. <laughs> I know it's perfect. No, wait. Oh my god, who's in the Stop, please. <laughs> hey, it's Mr. Dreamcast. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Clumble Sucker Cracker. Yeah, we've already I dropped my cracker. Do we have a ring? Oh, oh my oh, water. Sheen, is here. Um, oh, oh. Sheen. Did I'm you manage to help a um, free floor cracker? They're not here. Can I have a free floor cracker? Yeah, you can have the floor cracker Sheen, if you want. Rin. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm a bird, I get it. I call okay. dibs. I'm a bird. I already ate it. It, it, it is <laughs> consumed. I will eat you. I will eat yes. you from the inside out. They added me as a friend. All right. Someone uh, healed me. Yeah, come get it. I'm coming down. I'm coming down up here, but I think I broke all my bones uh -oh. yeah, falling down. That's, I'm I'm I kind of forget that I can actually do that. Can you pinpoint mm -hmm. literally to the floor? I, I'm... I'm a carbon. You good, Alice? I've just received it. Since, and I've accepted it. They should be on their way. Uh, organic. Oh, perfect. Just, that means you're not a robot. You're more of a robot now. You can replace me. Shut up, robot. I actually still have bones, and I broke them. We can replace them with metal This could just ate a cracker off the floor. We can rebuild him. We have the technology. We can make him better. What are you eating with we the crackers? We can make him stronger. Just by itself? With water? It's one of those like cheese peanut butter crackers that shouldn't taste good together, but they taste good because the cheese tastes amazing. I've seen something more beautiful in my life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are really just cheese and peanut butter. Why is that alive? Are you eating like lamps? Everything that's happening just registered. Like a child right now. What's going on? I was too busy with my crackers. Oh yeah, I forgot you enjoy that. 
Is that Freddy Fazbear? What the fuck am I looking at? Hello? <laughs> That's a mom. Yeah, I'm so you know, robotic. What? Oh no, where'd the kick me sign go? Oh, there they are. I made sure to say it. <laughs> you cannot tell. It's too dark. <laughs> Fun. I was correct. Do you? Do you have something that can heal me? I don't know how I mistake for Fuki for fucking. I'm not gonna do it that way. Are you supposed to be robotic? You're not. Forget all that. Well, you just seem to be enjoying yourself, thrill. Let me feed my curiosity. How could you tell? Uncomfortable. Ether down here. <laughs> <laughs> Grab. Um, you don't have to. I'm not. 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 Your oh, attention. Yeah, so honey, just get in the Discord. Has it done anything for you? Like, you can. My friends, Sorry. your attention, please. <clears throat> you have all witnessed firsthand how noisy this map can get with the echo effect. Thank you all for your cooperation. And now, without further ado, the story begins. Welcome to the Great Southern Mineshaft. The archaeologist has just spent weeks crossing uninhabited mountains to come to this very place. All the excitement that had slowly dripped away during his wearying journey rushes back as he descends this first ladder. The archaeologist is a young and talented man, a pupil of knowledge, a bright, promising mind, and the assistant to the professor. The professor had arrived a week prior and should be waiting for him somewhere below. Together, they are the first in their field to see these newly discovered ancient sites in person. The archaeologist is excited by the chance to finally prove himself to his professor. <clears throat> the foreman of the mine meets the archaeologist, and they converse casually as they descend to the first level. The concrete shaft smells of grease, smoke, and sweat, and all the miners are wearing masks that obscure their entire face. Please, follow me. Let's go. <laughs> I think we might be a good ending. I see. Just a hunch. Who the fuck sounds like Minnie from Mega Mind? Okay. Sure. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be fine. I feel like the outside is. Yeah. 
the foreman explains that the professor is just ahead. But he stops by the supply room and has someone give the archaeologist an oil lantern, a safety helmet, and a flashlight. While this happens, the archaeologist notices a heavy steel door with armed guards standing either side of it, also masked. Hmm. The foreman pulls him away before he can give it any more thought. this one. I forgot Who turned down the lights? I have a flashlight. <laughs> no, no lights are allowed. Please don't ruin my immersion. Mm. Uh, someone I'm following the fourth dimensional hypercube. It's so ruin dark my immersion. you, I can't do anything. The, you mean the mimetic meme machine? Right <laughs> yeah. Machine. That was a really good fan impression. Actually, yeah. oh, motherfucking mean machine. Trajim's mean bean machine. Oh my oh, god, he's Trajim's mean, mean bean machine. machine. Without me. Yo, feed the machine. All right, get him a sandwich. Feed the machine. Feed the machine. But we're not raging. It's a machine, are we? Society is never without me. Me, we live in society. The mean. Now you're more susceptible. Uh, to being controlled. <laughs> Put in the cat fire. Can't fire. It's the cat fire. We'll be here. Yeah, I think oh. we have to make it bigger. There he is. The man himself. The professor. Kneeling outside what appears to be a line of wooden stakes. The archaeologist eager to learn, ready to prove his worth, excitedly greets the professor. The professor does not return the greeting. He does not stand. He does not lift his head. Instead, he continues to sketch. And he says that he is now standing in what he has named Ritual Cave 1. He promptly gives the archaeologist a task. My friends, your first quest. Do listen carefully. As a group, remain within this chamber and collectively observe anything unusual or noteworthy about the unnatural features of this room. And then... Once called for, come back and describe to the professor what you see. To those who have done this before, please feel free to stand aside. Your task begins now. Alright. Wow. I don't think I can tell well in the dark here. Oh, dude, I can't see, bro. I see a lot of wood. Yeah. Is there a stone? Is it a I mean, Sonny, I am so upset right now. You're never gonna guess what fucking happened. XQC just fucking destroyed Bosnia. Yes! Yeah. Well, yeah. I don't really see anything too strange. I don't really see anything too strange. I am looking too strange. I my observation is that all the wood piles are only within the the, the square wood barrier that is in the center of this room. There's nothing else. There is no wood piles outside this bit that this wood stake barrier. I remember. 
<laughs> Yo, you could you could think of it, it as like, uh, like it uh, twins that one took longer to get out. It was a lot more. Like razors or something. This is another point to bring up is that barriers in these states they go through our stalagmites and stalactites as though they weren't here when they were built. Imagination, braving actually, even though all your stalactites. Oh, that is interesting. Is a stalactite the right word for this structure? I don't think it's a stalactite. I don't think it's definitely a column pillar thing for me to do. Not a stalactite. It's a stalactite. I know what a stalactite is. It's a stalactite. It's a stalactite. No. There's the stones around these pillars. Can we lay in the house? I'm just gonna go with what you guys think. Oh, these these mountains are natural, I guess. All the wood piles are also only are also all visible from this point here on this wood pedestal. Mm. So that might be something. This if this like is a ritual, maybe what? this would be where the form of the ritual would be after setting things up in the wood square. Yeah. Shape of the oh, yeah. wood piles. Only the professor said it was a ritual. Who says it? Otherwise, yeah, who says it's a ritual? Don't they? Mm. Please. Well, I'm just going off the assumption that it is a ritual, since that's what Maybe they're, they're, they're just markers good. for. Well, you know what they say about yeah, swimming? The weird okay. yes. wood pattern. Uh, yep. It could well, be just a ring of fire. It's not really a ring of fire. It's not really a ring of yeah, I'm basically going with your word because I I could not well, tell anything. Good observation. Fire, I'm not that, that much of an observer. The columns were there. Uh, uh, the what? Yeah, I definitely need to observe. Well, oh, maybe they're burning five people at the stake or like five sacrifices. Oh, guys, on here to me. Ding ding ding! It is time to. I gotta use this as my. Ding, 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 indeed, my friends. <laughs> now, we will hear a few volunteers who would like to go first to offer opinions on their observations. I guess I will. Please oh, yes. speak. I cannot Please. tell with hands being oh. raised. <laughs> Jose, go ahead. Oh, okay. So I noticed the first thing. I went a little bit around, and you know, there's all these piles of sticks everywhere. But then there's a lone stick inside of an obscured area that looks to be carved and very neatly shaped. <laughs> Oh, most curious. Somebody else? Information to add? I'll go. Catabur, go ahead. The, the piles of firewood in the room make an X shape. Ah, X marks the spot. That's what they say in movies and such. Yes. Very good. Anyone else? Oh, I'll go. Oh, okay. Yes. No. no, go. No, you go. Sorry. No, no. Luna, Ether, and Violent in that order. Alright. The border, the wooden borders around the perimeter, the column actually goes into some of them as if it wasn't there, as if the border was there before the column was. More than that, <laughs> on this line, there is a hole in the line, like it stops right over there by that column, as if to mark a doorway or something similar, or it could be unfinished. But it does continue beyond the column. Quite an astute group we have. And violent. Um, there's an unnatural looking stone platform outside this wooden square. Uh, it seems like they carved a platform out of stone to oversee whatever uh, all this stuff is for. Hmm. Very well. 
Please buy. This is the group's response. However, the professor cuts off the end of the archaeologist's answer with his own. Oh, please, he says. It is quite simple. A square of stakes, an elevated stone platform, and five primitive sacrificial pyres. No more, no less. The professor apologizes that the archaeologist apparently came all this way for nothing, but tells him he is welcome to wait in the supply room whilst he finishes the studies himself. The archaeologist feels his blood boil, but he bites his tongue and leaves the professor be. This way, friends. On the wall. Definitely a bit of a jerk. Professor's a bit of a dick, ain't yeah, he? Yeah, he is. Oh, oh yeah. He's not getting a good report at the end of the semester. <laughs> I am going to leave a <laughs> negative <laughs> Yelp review on that, up. Professor. One star, Professor. He's He's professor. I'm most definitely not getting the A in this class. www.ratemyprofessor.com The A is for asshole. The B Bro, is for bitch. The, the, the C is for... And she was like a two. That's quite impolite. <laughs> no. ah, 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 ah. Not funny. You laughed then. Mm. Funny. That was a big laugh, like professor. Like... Yes, but you still, you still garnered me a laugh, <laughs> even if it was fake. It's too late now. Oh, oh, I take a Took too much. I don't know, shit. beginner, professor. Uh -huh. I will bring laugh. this mine on top of us if you keep that up, equalization. Well, apparently we're getting the bad ending, so. Back to the lab again. Back outside the supply room, the mountain wind whistles in the distance. The archaeologist overhears some of the miners whispering about some sort of magnetic disturbance, a barrier preventing entrance to something ancient in the forbidden lower floors. The archaeologist cannot resist. He didn't come all this way to watch the professor draw a pile of wood. He did not spend countless nights scrutinizing research papers by candlelight, toiling away in unforgiving desert heat, fighting off dehydration and fevers and bandits and wild beasts and malaria and avalanches and starvation to watch the professor draw a pile of damned sticks! Okay. No. 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 The archaeologist knows what he must do. He will descend the great southern mine shaft. He will make the new discoveries. He will overcome anything for the recognition he knows he deserves. Yes. He will become the professor. When the guards are not looking, the archaeologist slinks away into the darkness and descends. 
Well, this is scary. All right. Nothing bad's gonna happen, I'm sure. This is, uh, I'm sure all the good things can come of this. Holy shit. So, that, that lead up to the peak that, that you typically do? Holy shit, Trace. That was so good. That was... Indeed. Good to see Angry Jim Manza. Operational. <laughs> this is not Indiana Jones. I mean, it's an archaeologist trying to get something in the museum, right? This is Illinois James. Illinois speaking James. That doesn't have a good ring to it. <laughs> Listen. There is nobody down here. No miners. No professor. No howling wind. Only cold, comforting silence. And the stench of smoke and grease. He lights his oil lantern and begins his own journey of discovery. Giddy with anticipation. Ah, I'm at the door. That's the lag type. Slag lights and which ones are slag? Oh, you <laughs> answered the question I was going to ask. This could be a visit. Cheat on your man, homie. Ah, I tried to sneak Oh, there's Yeah, make it. Uh, uh, make it better Please, I you. Please, I'm <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> 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 the fudge? Just Someone just say, what the fudge? I'll fucking kill you. Yes! I got front <laughs> row seats. <laughs> what the fudge? I'm fucking scared. Glowing. Oh, Jackie. Not fucking cool, man. Exactly. That's that shit. Yeah. Fucking wholesome, 100% community. No fucking swear. Watch your profanity. 200%. <laughs> My friends. 2 billion percent. My friends. Watch your step. Just ahead. Down this next tunnel. Is a spike trap. It would spell a painful end to this new adventure. Where we to fall. But do take a look as you pass, for the trap seems entirely undisturbed. Yes, the archaeologist is confident that he must be the first one to be here. Wait, is that a light up there? Light, light. Oh, he wants to stop in the spike trap. Oh my god. Oh, that's that nerd of me. Oh, you know? Oh, 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 I only got lost somewhere down here. More like a four or five with the grim. Something, something, five the rappers. I don't know. I'm an honest. What well, happens if we don't find Dren? Do we get the double bad ending? Yes. Of course we do. 
We get the we get the super bad ending. Rendizo bonks us all for break. leaving him behind. He never comes back. He's <laughs> We're never allowed to order vanilla extract at the bar again. <laughs> no! Not, not after you, the You can order it. It's just Rendizo's part, room bro. disappears. Uh, mm. Mm. Is a, a paradox happens in Rendizo ceases to exist. Uh-oh. Oh, dude, the archaeologist is lost, isn't he? Nope. I oh, really, no, I'm very much hard. hoping that that <laughs> isn't in the script and Trajan genuinely just yeah, not. Yeah, the archaeologist's the first time visiting. For being lost. This, this is the archaeologist's first time visiting. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, of course. Of course. Of course. Lost, he's exploring. The archaeologist has ever been here, ever. What are you talking about? We never get yeah, lost down here. Lost. He's exploring. Yeah. Wait, did we take go left or two rights there? I know. I should uh, maybe two, two rights. Oh, I mean, two left. Oh, going up. Okay. What the heck is this? <laughs> Quick, I hear you. Tap space harder. It was over here if I missed. Don't worry, traveler. We're going to find out the right way. This must be Ren's doing. Like a real adventure. You try and check Ren's out. doing? Wait, is anybody seen if he's actually in this world? Is he, is he actually in this world? I mean, hey. Come on, man. I mean, we've got evil team, evil wait, what? What? Ren is logically up next. Holy shit. Yeah, why are you back in the world? I mean, it's just a crap or it's progression wise. This is a different room that looks exactly the same. No, we have a man here. This one that ever seen this. No. So this has already been this word you're lying to yourself. And not a dark place. Like. <laughs> yeah, is this a different wait, is this, wait, is this tunnel an SCP? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi, okay, I think I can see some differences. Tunnel, it's yeah, tunnel yeah, dot zip. Over here, friends. The what? story continues. Let's get up. Yes, I was simply exploring all the possibilities. I can't leave any tunnels uncovered. The Encephalon has observed your choices, travelers. However, it will not allow any deviations from the memetic recordings. The story continues as follows. The archaeologist finds himself in Ritual Cave 1? No, it cannot be. There is no sign of the professor, and he didn't even... What was that? Footsteps. He turns and looks over his shoulder. Presses on and decides to inspect the cave. My friends, your second quest. You are to identify the unnatural details of this room and determine to what degree, if at all, they match Ritual Cave 1. Begin. Oh no. Okay, let's see if I remember. Um, same X pattern, I, uh, same gap, yeah, same X pattern, same, platform. same stone platform. The, the only thing that's different that between this room and the last one is a new exit. No, there's a lot of there's no stick. There's no stick in the corner. Oh, there's no extra stick. No light, light bad. It's a pretty strong rock, light bad. Are they too strong for your diamond axe? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which is unfortunate because it's a diamond axe. <laughs> 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 In other words, they're just so let's the same room. 
Wait, in this game? I missed him? That, that ruins my day. Person. Yeah, same. What do you smell in this room? I'm getting a hint of. Uh, was it what pile there? Three pillars? I thought there was only two last time. Yeah, I thought there was only two last time. Yeah, there was that one. Yeah, there was that one. I think it's fair. Nitrogen doesn't have to come back. There weren't any points after I slapped you. Yes, there were. It's not a little bit. That's what it's known for. That's what it's known for. I was thinking there's a lot of people who are Take time to figure out that uh, everything within the wood square is the same as it was yeah, yeah, yeah. the first one. There's no carved stick either. Listen, I'm yeah, yeah. that was outside the wood square. I mean, if you get out of that. But like I said, that's outside the wood square. Where's my sister? Yeah. If I can actually the fire with my girl. Little one. <laughs> Why is this wood strong? What is it, magic? Yeah, you're observers, so we're actually in oh, yeah, I'm probably in <laughs> We are actually in that How about that? Or at least this time. Yeah. yeah. We are. So um, we yeah, I've been having many moments of interacting with the like, domains. Uh, I keep forgetting that I don't normally do it. I need I special so cases for that. I wonder if the ball is still even for the panda. Alright. Yeah, that's a good joke. Yeah. It's my bad. Google's for a second. The activators for them are so close to each other. Polly. Polly. May I ask you to switch to push to talk as the voices of others echo constantly through your mic? Apologies. Is it time to gather, uh, Trajan? He will tell us when it's time to gather. Uh, so no door. As far as I can tell, everything looks the exact same. Why is there insane I think I'm just figuring it out. I'm figuring it out right now. You're the one who poked me in the back of the head. You can press the V button on your keyboard to toggle push to talk if you can't figure out how to get it where it's holding it down. All right. I miss all Ten thousand thank yous, friend. I'm watching it. All right. My friends, your time has expired. Okay, okay. I'm back. Gather round and welcome back Plummels from her visit to the toilet. Thank you, thank you. Hey, but yeah. well. Did you win? Everything came out alright. Yes, high school. Hey, what the? <laughs> 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 Did you win? Did you hit a trick shot? We have lost one. Congratulations, it's over. My friends, I would like, as before, a few volunteers to deliver their findings. Oh, Mind if I interject? Thrill game. Go ahead. As far as I can observe, everything within the wooden square this time around was the exact same as in the previous chamber we visited. There were a few differences like another exit to this chamber and no weird wooden carving thing outside the square, but everything in the square was the exact same. I see. You are of the opinion that the square space itself is identical. Very well. Yes. Somebody else. This is about your best first base. I have some Who you use up? Go ahead. Alright. Well, where that, that opening is, I believe there was an iron door last time or something blocking the pathway. And now there's no door. And now there's an open hole in the wall. I see. That's the extension of it. The chamber are clearly 
different. And one more opinion. I have no need of anything else. Very well. Then it appears we have consensus. The group thinks that well, well, the central features are identical. Physically, it must be a different chamber. Yes. 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 Yeah, I'd say that. Yes. Indubitably. Well. Don't mind our entirely uneducated geological opinion. After a short while, going over everything he can, well, the archaeologist decides that any similarities are strikingly accurate, but not, must be a coincidence, or perhaps intentional. But the room is a different room, and he thusly names the space. Ritual Cave 2. His oil lantern gets a little dimmer, so he turns it on. He is confident that he has made a new discovery. But if he goes back to tell the professor now, he would surely be scolded for descending without the proper authority. No, he needs something more impressive. He decides to continue. Well, yeah, of course. You have to justify your breaking of the rules. You know what they Pride say, break rules first, ask the questions fall. later. Fortune favors the bold. Yeah! Stuck in a hole. I'll be back in the mine, got our pickaxe in me for Exploring dark holes. I'm not a robot, I'm a oh, comic. Isn't that, I'm a that famous video It's just like college. And basically part organic. <laughs> that sucks then. There are many dark holes in the path of life. <laughs> what? Special considering how many times I broke my bones in the pilot off that balcony. What about the lecture? Are we in a time oh. loop? Hi? Maybe. Uh, Don't you get in I hope not. I'm sure we'll get out of it by then. Are we going back in time mm. every time we descend? I don't Is the sky pink? Pink? That means we're getting younger. Is the sky blue? I don't feel younger. Oh, no. I don't want to do middle school again. Yes. No, oh, fuck oh, no. I don't want to do middle school again. It's just tough. Oh god, I'm going back to my cringe preteen years. Oh god, I can hear the pink. music. Oh, this is <laughs> It's actually pretty good, I don't mind it. I suppose the sky is pink at twilight. Oh wow, this is nice. Equalization, every time I see these yellow cave walls, I think of the boss doors in Elden Ring. <laughs> You've been scarred. Totally <laughs> Elden Ring brand. <laughs> Scary. Oh, oh wood. You've wow. been branded by the frenzied flame. What is that? Mine? Nerf it, please. Oh. Where are we seeing from? Knock knock. Or is it? Who's there? Oh, no, he's a spot. I'm very good with this kind of space. Yeah. That's driving me crazy. I could go for some, um. I forgot the name of him. The mint ones. Pepper and patty. Oh. Ah. How curious. Yes. The archaeologist finds himself back in the central shaft. He can hear the miners high above him. It doesn't sound like anyone has noticed he is missing. And so he descends the next floor. This way. Mm -hmm. Clank, 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 clank. Well, they said they didn't have a soundtrack for this one. Oh. Can't this can't be this. Mm -hmm. Ow! Ow! Don't hit me there, Geo. Chick-fil-A has always been funny, so I'm not that good. <laughs> That's not a good idea, you're mid-middle. 
Like no, it's just not that good. I think I was always lying to myself. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're not made of me. The sauce is the only thing. Oh, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not. I'm not again. Popeyes is made of metal. This is just better. My friends, apologies for the strict reminder, but when we stop for narration, kindly refrain from speaking. Thank you. This doesn't seem right. Broken bars? Is this part of the mine? The archaeologist stops to listen. Ah, there it is, ever so faint. A distant hum, a drone. He proceeds carefully. This doesn't look quite as ancient. <laughs> it's so dark in here. All this makes me want to go to the store. That reminds me of the epic Don't rap battles of history version. <laughs> oh my goodness. Probably is quite fun. I am now the El Crate. Plus the You are on the Me and Sal have been here forever. Boxes that aren't broken down. Clean this one. My name is Rick right there. This part is weird. Hmm. More concrete rooms. So, he is still in the mineshaft. And that humming noise is coming from the small generator in the room back there. It must be keeping these lights on. He decides to rummage through the larger room. Perhaps there might be something useful lying around. But as he searches, a question swims to the front of the archaeologist's mind. Shipping crates. Why? He finds a crowbar and carefully pries open a crate. Inside is not what he expected. Dozens and dozens of ceramic humanoid figurines. Some as large as a skull, others no larger than a knuckle bone. And they are old, very old, with flakes of paint barely remaining. Elaborate patterns denoting various styles of clothing. I don't like anything here seen before. The only aspect of the figurines he finds baffling is the faces. Or rather, the lack thereof. While the rest of each figurine is rich in detail, the face has just one dot for a mouth and a smooth, blank, featureless surface where the eyes should be. It feels wrong. It feels so very wrong. The archaeologist puts them all back and closes the crate. And then realizes what this might mean. He might not be the first one to have explored these ancient tunnels. He may not. Who's there? What was that noise? Hmm. Nothing. Well, these... Yes, these figurines, they must have come from these ancient sites. 
but that would mean that the professor lied. The professor lied. Oh, the archaeologist is furious. Why was he even brought all this way? To be mocked? Oh, no. No, professor. No foreman can stop the archaeologist now. He's going to go deeper. This way, friends. Someone's too determined. This. Ow. The figurines are Happy Ow. Meal rejects. Careful. You get reject uh, toys. Keep oh. telling yourself that. It helps you sleep at night. <laughs> oh, I don't want to. They're the souls of those lost to the rituals. Maybe. I don't know. Who's the next sacrifice to meet Ronald McDonald? Hey. What? You're gonna say Ronald Reagan and I was gonna cheer. What? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Why? Oh, I feel Sacrifice Ronald Reagan! Yes! Raving rabbit. Mm. No. The archaeologist next comes a much larger cavern with pathways high and low. He wants to find another tunnel as high up as possible to explore next. My friends, in a moment you will be free to explore this room. But please, do not leave this chamber or enter any tunnels. Simply locate an upper tunnel once you're done exploring, then gather there, from whence we will continue. Okay. Let's do it. Now I'm gonna... Yeet! Yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, oh. Ready, Benny? Oh. Let's see what looks like. Yeah. Oh, Sorry, I'm not used to being like a large person. I'm usually shorter than you. This isn't a choice. Maybe you'll like it. It's gonna be railroaded, isn't it, because of the... Well, you don't get the two to attack. Ow, ow, ow. I think that was a nose like that time. Ow. Oh, no, I can't do that. Oh, no, you ran away. You need healing again, Alvaran. <laughs> Give it a moment. I think my nose might be not too damaged that it can, you know, heal itself. <laughs> I'm making a drag me. I'm gonna do a flip. Oh, it's flipping. <laughs> I got that one. <laughs> Any help? Ask me for it. Hmm. I have no idea what this is. <laughs> what? Gator Ray. I don't know where Rendizo is. I like the lime cucumber one. I like the lime cucumber one. Cool. I don't Get them goddamn games up. You need to make gilk. Gatorade milk. Gilk. Gilk? Get them MF games up. It's time for narration. Drink your gilk. I was gonna say, I like the glacier flavor. Drink your gilk. Any gilkers in chat? I thought gilk was girl milk. No, I literally told you gilk is Gatorade milk. Oh god. Oh. Well. Okay, over perp, they're not excused. We're all here. Or are we? This way. Oh, <gasps> this way. Yeah, oh god, so we miss Rendizo. So. Whoever's left behind I might be fine. Rendizo. 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 
Rendale. What the fuck? Rendale. The Rendale. Oh, June and Fayetteville, etc., etc. What's the next Rendale of the Vanilla Wait a minute. 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 Wait a Oh my god. Mm. Same place. Say nothing, you old farts. Oh fuck. Oh it's god. this place. Something, oh. something picture on the wall. Wait a minute. Oh dear. Alice, get out what the fuck are you doing? You went past the tour guide. <laughs> Sunny. Never pass the cube. Oh, 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 oh. Behold, jumping. Do not no lights pass the cube. Do not collect two hundred dollars, please, friends. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what? Oh man. But you can pay the cube two hundred dollars if you wish. Okay. Doesn't do it. I can write all material possessions to the cube. Offer. My friends, the story continues. Aha! Uh -huh. The archaeologist spots a challenge. Old wooden beams he can use to cross the pit, lit from above by daylight. Daylight this far below the surface? Hmm. No, the archaeologist perishes the thought and the crosses. My friends, you are free to proceed at your own pace, and you must wait on the other side for everyone to cross. I will cross last. If you require help, okay. we are here to hold your hand. I need your help. I don't want to freak him any further. This got to be sent to me. No, you are in the way of yourself. Oh my fucking god. Just do it. Do it. Later, dream. Oh my god. He does nothing. Come on, I my jump button is not freaking working. Good thing I have Vito. Yeah, I'm taking a little weird. GG, easy. Easy game. Easy. Yeah, was that even a <laughs> jumping apart ahead there for a minute? Oh, God. Wait, there we go. Okay, hey, I'm just using the natural time to be in a wall. Do you mind if I, uh, do it? Well, there you go. Uh, uh, <laughs> it's. it's well, you're happy. Man, 2.0 yeah. worlds. Forgot about them. You do a little game. Hey, 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 h
Nicholas. Nicholas. I'm awesome. <laughs> I'm the coolest. He's the, he's the bad ending to the command. Don't patronize me. Content. We all die of starvation. My eye, I was drinking water and I tilted my head back a little too much and John spit at me. <laughs> it's an inanimate object. Yeah, I killed an inanimate object today as well. They can live, they can die. I can't believe you farted so hard you destroyed your headphones. Uh -huh. <laughs> I made it again. Do you not know. had your noise suppression <laughs> you off, and I heard every bit of it. <laughs> your headphones didn't work, and you you had to buy new headphones right after. <laughs> I actually broke my earbuds raving. They don't work anymore. Put it in VR. He had to get on VR. <laughs> Just VR. <laughs> <Yeah, here. laughs> no. Are you hearing this shit, Ravi? I think Ravi's dying. It's not. It's not funny. I think Ravi is dead. He was choking afterwards, which made it hilarious. You got this, Ravi. Come on. What did you think? I believe Jim, in you. Jim, yeah. Jim, 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 You are now parkour, Jim. Jim, 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 Parkour, Jim, Jim, Jim. I could go It works. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's fan out on the rendezvous with this muffin. Can I send you, like, enough? That's all, all I want to do is nice and sweet. No. Follow the cube. Oh, for fuck's sake. Praise cube. Praise cube. I love the light. I love the light. I love the light. Control C, Control V, the room's the same. Maybe the pattern here is a little different, like, you know, missing spots or something. You people in your cave, man, that's thinking of your place with the same. My friends, over here, please. Story continues. That looks different. Yes. I agree. <laughs> the archaeologist steps into. Wait. No, it, it cannot be. Can it? He must find out. My friends, your third quest. Your task is simple identify whether this room is identical to Ritual Caves 1 and 2. Your time. And I suck at that. <laughs> yes. And there's an exit and an entrance. Oh, is the stone? See? Is the stone? Is the stone the same? As I suspected, there is absolutely no cornbread in this chamber. Luna has oh, what a disaster. If you want some, Luna has some. Wait, 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 this one is so good. Don't know what I'm doing. 
Brutus here. Hey, what's up, Mr. Miles? Hey, Oh, it's yeah, 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 my friends, Time's ding, ding, up. my friends, buddy. Yeah. Ding, ding. I want to be frog. Ding ding. ding. <laughs> now, a couple of volunteers to give us findings. Well, as far as I can tell, this room is exactly identical to all the other ones we've seen that have had this same square thing in it. Very well. An interesting conclusion. Can I have another to agree or disagree? It's the exact uh, yeah. same room. It's the damn same thing. Uh, agreed. I don't know if it's just me, but the acting is one My friends, if you wouldn't mind, I will pick the volunteers one at a time. Dalai Mob, if you would. I believe that if the first room had a view to a tunnel with some spikes on the ground, the second copy had a view to a tunnel with some spikes on the ceiling, this one have a view to a tunnel with no spikes, I might be remembering wrong though. I see. Interesting. Well, from what I've heard from the group, the consensus seems to be that this is identical, yet once more must be physically different. If I may. The archaeologist checks the room over and determines that this is a separate, yet mostly identical room. Yes, ritual or cave three. Confused. Yet intrigued as to what lies ahead, the archaeologist proceeds, knowing that every step takes him closer to a grand discovery. Just as he turns to leave, he notices his lantern has gotten a little dimmer again. He turns it up and hears... What was that? Something. Hmm. Well, it's gone now. Let's proceed. Mm -hmm. Huh. Oh, there's a tunnel. Yeah. Indeed, indeed. <laughs> yes. Is it almost time for the thing? Is it almost what time the for the thing? That? Bosnia. Which thing? Are also a piece. Oh, Bosnia is the best country in the world. <laughs> Bosnia would never do me wrong. What? I miss this bucket. Dear God. bucket. It's Here. a pocket. Uh, There's more. Craving. No. Yeah, spin. Spin. Yeah. 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 This is my favorite thing ever. Can I get this up like that? Away. I'll buy all your... Yeah. I don't know how easy it's going to be, though. My friends, spin. the story continues. <laughs> what is this? So, the miners have definitely descended this far at and used this bucket to lift something out of here. The archaeologist has one guess as to what this was used for. Still, 
There must be something they missed. After all, what do miners know of ancient civilization? Even with the professor's help, they are no match for the archaeologist. He will earn the recognition of his peers, and perhaps even his superiors. The professor is going to regret shoving him to the side like a discarded rag. Well, let's hurry along. This way. Okay. Fast faces, people. Totally what not trip on rocks. Alright. I know a fire is out the bottom of these rock and stone. Oh, there's a wooden rock and stone. You better rock and stone if you don't go home. Rock and stone. I think you mean black and darkness. Like in Rock and stone, brothers! And we are, we are back track. Rock, rock, and all the stage shit. you! We play real hard. This ain't your grandma station. Wait, we were already here. Oh, here. So we have to go back now? Okay. The archaeologist what? makes his way back to the room with the beams. But... Wait. Something is different. Something is wrong. The sunlight coming from that hole is so very dim. Did the sun set so quickly? Yes, and his lantern is dimmer as well. He turns it up, burning yet more oil, and he... Hello? What? What was that? On the other side? Hmm. Is anybody... missing? Well, regardless, let us continue. Oh no. <laughs> First try, baby. Ah, dang it. Oh, parkour to cross, baby. Parkour, parkour. And yet I was not parkour. I was Rendizo, that you? I know who we are now. Rendizo. Do you? Rendizo. Rendizo. Rendezvous. 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 It's been five minutes. What are you talking about? It's not like Brendan has no. time travel bullshit going on. Yeah. It's been one week since you looked at me. Oh, oh, really? It felt like 15 one years. One second has passed. Oh, this map is so funny. One second you're in a school, and the next second you're in a Walmart refrigerator uh, section. Ten seconds have passed. Make a mark. I'm very used to the Walmart. Omega oh Mark. Oh, fuck, we're on the stop. One hour here, oh, seven God. years back home. At least it's not as bad as the orange juice from Omega Mark. Now we're all this back little maneuver is going to cost us 50 oh, years. I want to go there so great. Wait, we're in the sewers again. Turn yes. this into a skate park. Does Kmart still exist? They have people they play there. In some places, places. Yeah. they're mostly yeah. shut down. Yeah. 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 The I, one I close by where I lived closed like, years the ago. The last thing that happened before I moved away was the Kmart got replaced with a Target. Halt. We can make lots of liquor down here. Excuse me? I like the way you think. Liquor? Sounds like a deal to me. <laughs> liquor? I hardly know her. I apologize. I'm well. sorry. No, you don't. <laughs> I'm happy you added me now. I don't really. 
think we're supposed to be quiet. My friends, those at the back of the class, the story continues. Back in the main shaft, the overpowering stench of smoke and grease returns to the archaeologist. Revoltingly comforting. He no longer hears noises from the top of the shaft. Perhaps they all finally left him to explore in peace. Looking down, there is but one more floor. This way. Let's see if I can make this fall. Oh, come on. Pick me up, you scared. I think I had enough Are breaking sure? my limbs. Be sure you want to attempt this. Ah, no, I think I had oh, enough breaking my limb, limbs for one. Three. Level three. Not something I think you should endeavor Yeah, if we got any lore, can we get to the level four? Oh my god, the castle level three, world? like in Spike Kids. It's Spike Kids level three. Do, 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 do. No fucking way. I'm the guy. Fucking dies. I love Spike Kids 3. I don't. Cryptic, play the underground theme for Mario Brothers when you can. I can just. My friends. Yeah, hold it. My friends. This is it. This is what the archaeologist came here for. What secrets will he find? What treasures will he unveil? Let us proceed. Proceed. Proceed with caution. Or, or don't. Honestly, really when happen. I heard proceed, I'm suddenly thinking of the Snowgrave route from uh, Deltarune Chapter 2. Oh, I love Deltarune. I feel like this man is going more insane by the moment. Slowly but surely, he just more and more. Yeah, that you're talking about. I'm totally insane. Maybe all of us are insane. That's college for you. I don't agree with that. All of us are insane. So all of us are insane. Yes. Oh, I am not doing more. Oh. It's like um that one game I can't think of it uh, where insanity could kill you. Oh. You, you go with a group of four people um, and you go yeah. Uh, insanity could kill you in quite a few games. I should have my. Have I ever told you the definition of insanity? What do you mean? Insanity. What is the definition of insanity? I might need to. Never mind the definition of insanity. What about the insanity of definition? <gasps> Unfortunately, this is deep. Whoa. That's deep. a raw line. Yeah. Okay, Cheshire. Yeah. I agree. <laughs> okay, Cheshire. It hurts my head thinking about it. The archaeologist comes next to a large cavern filled with pillars and precipices. Stalactites and stalagmites. My friends, in just a moment, as before, you will be free to explore this new space. Also, as before, do not leave the chamber. But do see how many other exits you can locate. When you're done, come and find me. I call the bottom head. Going down here. Because, yes, you are a bottom, Mel Man. I said the high road. Oh, oh my god. So. Everywhere's an exit. Skills. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 I got it. I got it. Hey, 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 hey. Look, look, look. Rocks. Bro, that rocks. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> And non made Can't believe it. Oh, yeah. It's, uh, it's in 
Oh god, I can't see. This way. Where? Yeah, right here. Jimmy's the one from Super Mario, but I denied the popularity that is the Super Mario World one. Protag providing all the essentials. All the essentials lacking the games. There is a super I like the challenge. But the trick is figuring out which way to go. Yeah, I'm stuck. I think I went up this. I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm looking okay, at, uh, thank you. I'm stuck down here. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck down here. I'm stuck down here. Archaeologist has chosen his next path. Don't slip. And at this stage, your continued silence is appreciated. to himself as he steps into a now very familiar arrangement even at a glance he is sure yeah. this, this is another ritual room. Perfect perfect ritual funny. room four by now yeah 
But as he pauses to catch his breath, he looks about and wonders, where? Where did these ancient people get all their wood from? The surroundings beyond the mine are rocky and ancient, barren as far as the eye can see. Before he can think on it any further, his lantern dims to darkness. He places it down on the ground and fumbles out his flashlight. But its light flickers ever so dimly. The batteries must be so low, it is scarcely of use to him. He curses the miners and follows the cave wall with his hands. The dull, flickering glow of the flashlight sweeping back and forth across the cavern floors. My friends, there is but one more tunnel to explore. At this point, it is of utmost importance that A, you all remain silent, and B, you do not go ahead of me one step. This way. Oh. Oh. What? Where are, Where are we going? Shh. Uh, uh. No, no. Yeah, we should be going down that way, right? We should be this one. Silence. Shushy. No, no, no. And we're back. archaeologist comes to a large cave and even with the dying light he can tell where he stands he laughs aloud to himself surely surely this is some cruel jest or is he going mad pondering on the thought he walks around the cave and remembers something. These thing, piles of wood, these sacrificial pyres, as the professor called them, none of them had shown any sign of being set alight. All the wood has been unburned. Rotten, yes. Old, yes. But still unburned. Unexpectedly, a smell twists its way into his nostrils. 
sulfur. And as his flashlight finally expires and he is plunged into darkness, in the corner of his vision, a dull orange light flashes just for a brief moment. Blindly, desperately, he stumbles toward it. Do not fall down. Stay at the top of the ledge. Do not fall down. Croc. Remain at the top of the ledge. Do not fall down, friends. Doorway to hell. Sulfur smell. Goodness. What an understatement. A putrid malodor rises up from a pit, gleaming with hellish intensity. Decaying corpses, singed hair, melting flesh. Images flash within his mind. Memories he didn't know he had flutter to the surface like faces in black water. And then, he becomes aware of something else. Some new thought manifests in the inky fog of his weary mind. Something pulls the archaeologist toward the edge. Something beckons him. A hand hovering above the shoulder. A whisper in the ear, which has not yet passed the lips. And then, gently, Everything fades to darkness. My friends, for the conclusion of this tale, I ask kindly that you close your eyes and keep them closed. The archaeologist wakes up to the sound of muffled voices. But when he moves, they stop immediately. He opens his eyes. Well, he opens his eyelids. He knows that much. And yet when he does so, the world remains dark. No, not even dark. Darker than dark. There is nothing. Nothing to see at all. There is no world. The familiar voice of the professor comes in right beside him and asks how the archaeologist is feeling in a strangely calm tone. As he does so, something heavy is placed in the archaeologist's hands. The archaeologist ignores him and asks why everything is dark. Why did his flashlight die? 
Why are all the lights off? But as he speaks, he feels what he is holding, a large, heavy ceramic object, a head, just like those from the crate, but a life-sized head. And as the archaeologist's fingers brush across the ceramic surface, he feels the smooth section where the eyes ought to be, but he presses too firmly, and a finger punctures through the weak surface, crumbling like brittle plaster. The archaeologist recoils in horror at what he discovers. The professor chuckles. My dear boy, the lights are on, and our new friend thanks you for your sacrifice. Friends, travelers, you may open your eyes now, for you have arrived at the bad ending of the archaeologist. Well done on doing nothing. My friends, this is a little precarious for a place to talk. Let's go back into the main room where we have some usual announcements for you all. This way, please. I must pay respect to the memory of Ren. Ren was never here. He was all a lie. I'm gonna have to do this next semester. Yeah, we we lost. I think we have completely failed at finding Ren. And listen carefully. Nice yeah, <laughs> <one you're laughs> for As you may have noticed, the events, the course of tonight's story, was rigged from the start. But that's right, for the next few months, the stories we are telling have locked in endings. This is because we have already run these stories for several months each. And we are re running them so that you all get a chance to see every ending of every tour you wish to see to catch up on all the hidden secrets and lore. Well, before we make a group photo together, it seems like Ren hasn't shown up at all. Or has he? Well, friends, a group photo. Let's take it in this room, <laughs> since it's the one that drove us all mad. May I ask for a volunteer <laughs> photographer? So, me, so means Rendizo is sus then. There's an imposter among us then. Maybe the real Rendizo is the one made along the way. Maybe Rendizo. Maybe. No, no. I'm thinking it's the one. Ideally. Ideally, someone who is in VR who can remotely place their camera down. And someone who's not an actual camping tent that's blocking everything. Apologies. All avatars are turned off. I can't tell. Kitty. You are volunteering to photograph. Very well, friends. Let's stand over here in the best light. Thank you, Katie. Yeah. Okay. Stand next to Captain Panda's campfire. Uh, Flank me, uh, friends. Oh, the tent is blocking everything. So uh, whoever's using the tent is blocking. Could you, one second. Captain Panda, can you get rid of your tent? Panda, can you please? Whoever is spawning that tent, please get rid of it. The tent. Uh, mm. do you want to like What well? do we say on the counter? Yes, yeah. yes. Okay. Why, Rendizo, why? Um, please just say I'm not. Rendizo! 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 Rendiz
No. Oh my god. Wait, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, what? 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 He is here. Are you ready, Kitty? <laughs> yes. What? <laughs> Kitty, can you please signal me if you're ready? Very well. Okay, my friends, I believe on the count of three, are you all ready? One, yeah. two, three. No eyeballs. You are good. I was like, I think you were in front of me. Yay. I had to lean like this. No, maiden. They took your arm, too, didn't they? Travelers, friends, oh, pay attention please. Before we all get lost in these caves searching for Rendizo, listen carefully. <coughs> please, put your hands together for the one, the only Trey Gem. <laughs> My friends, we hope you enjoyed this tour. Thank you for staying with us. You were a wonderful group. Friends, if you took photos during the tour tonight, please feel welcome to paste those photos into the channel of the archaeologist in our Discord. Yeah. For those of you that are new here, please join our Discord. It's a wholesome community, and there you can keep track of the overarching lore of all of our tours and, and also get notified of when the next tour is going to happen. The Discord ID is my status in VR chat. Finally, friends, if you really enjoy the work our team puts into this and you want to help us write more stories and create more beautiful worlds, please support us on Patreon. Our Patreon is only $3 per month, and joining grants you eligibility to play character roles in our other tours that have them. It also grants you access to a lot of weird stuff on our Patreon and a private Discord channel. Well, well, friends, that's all for announcements. Thanks again, and in about five minutes from now, I will open a portal back to the rendezvous for the after party. But for now, the cave is yours. <laughs> like the, the floor is open, but the cave is yours. By the way, you notice this count is more tall. All right, and then once it actually works, yeah, once I get into the night, yeah, drill this cave into unless it's a little tall. Come to cave in here, come in a little bit. Okay, yeah, this is stronger than I thought. We find out that everything we knew about the two we thought we knew about the tours is a lie. That would be a new weird. ending for every and tour. I, I that I don't believe it. That would be Imagine how cool that'd be though. It's like a new It'd ending be cool for the tour. Mm-hmm. It'd be throw cool us so cool. off. Like what? The en the tour endings were rewritten. Mm-hmm. Rendizo's a time traveler confirmed.
Yeah. 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 Who that? Must have been who, the who, who that? Who Must that be my imagination. Huh? Go that way. That makes more sense. Where'd you go? Know? Oh, what? What? Wait. <laughs> that way? Ah, what is in the just another minute or so, and we'll open the portal. What way? Death. Oh, it's full of more crap. I'm just mapping out the... my head. We don't go that into the sense. hell pit no. because... It, the actual yeah. world itself has that, like, a, a, as a cave that goes somewhere else. Yeah. What? For immersion's sake, it wouldn't make any sense for us to go. Yeah. Find out what have you done? Mm-hmm. Hello. The story is basically, well, molten oh. lava. <laughs> well, it implies that there's, like, a pile of burning bodies or something down there. Yeah. I mean, if it is molten rock, it's oh, there you know, not in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It looks like you just above. went straight into the ground. It's in dry. It could be. Mm -hmm. I kind of want to go to yeah. my pit. Yeah. I'm not really going to go there. Don't think of that smell like burning uh -huh. gas. We are going insane. Or is there something? I doubt that. Or is there something? Oh, there's crystals that have been come up with back when the archaeologist was written. Have you ever burnt any of the crystals? Hi. We're also magical. I don't think they can. Yeah, that's true. It would be interesting if they could. Everything in burn. Yeah, it just takes Everything burns. I thought rocks and melt them. No, they didn't even Well, let me rephrase then. Everything succumbs to heat. Yes. Even the heat death of the universe. I can't burn. I got this. Wait, in the heat death, is it a lack of heat? I'm literally smoking heat. Portal time. <laughs> portal time. Okay. It's portal time. It's Nine and three quarters this shit. Yeah, I mean, also, PL is open now, but, um, I usually <laughs> like to <laughs> hang around here for a little bit, so there's, like, usually the open shop here. What? No, it doesn't feel right. Let's see. What to do, what to do, what to do. Wub, 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 wub. I'm not going over this all this time. If a document Memo ever gets mentioned in the tours, you can go and yours, read it at Trey Jim's library. As long as you have library. enough rupees. So if they mention oh, a book... Cool. Yeah, so if they mention a book... Uh, Google Maps. Can we rent out of those play I don't give credit. Come back when you mm, or preach you. do not count as reading material. Oh, for the library. Yeah. Don't ask me when I sit down and settle in. I'll be happy All to right, answer your questions. <sighs> so yes. And yeah, so there's this, there's the bar, there's 
and that's what the bar does to reverse alcohol. So, well, there's, there's different drinks, but...